you got the show on No Jumper, mm-hmm. Mad Lately. Yep. About to do 30 episodes or just hit 30? We just, just hit did. 30. We just, so just hit 30. 30. Yep. Um, so congrats on that. Appreciate that. Once a week? Yeah, every Monday. So it's PM. every Monday. It's you, Gabe C. I forget the young lady's name. Is on Gina. The show. Gina Views. Um, how did that come come to be? Uh, so Adam, I've, known, I've been knowing Adam for like three years now. Um, no, probably four. Yeah, four. Since like 2017, like around the time where like Shoreline right. was blowing up, Greedo, all them. We just kept running into each other. And... Um, I had him on my podcast once and then after that I would just like send him emails of like dope videos that right. I thought were dope and then he'd be like cool I'm gonna put this on the no jumper YouTube and I just kept like a constant line of communication with him for a while and um you know like we'd run into each other certain places I'd I think he started to grow like more of a respect for me because a lot of places he would be I would be you know what I'm saying like I was mm-hmm. enrolling out of Miami he was enrolling out of Miami I, I was enrolling out of New York he was there any concerts backstage, like he see me. I was right. just hustling, you know what I mean? So like um, we just grew, grew like a cool relationship. And then at the beginning of 2020, he like said he wanted to meet, went to his office. And then he's like, yeah, I want you to do like a podcast or something. He's like, not Rosecrans Radio, though. I want you to do something different. And I was like, all right, cool. And then like COVID happened. And then so like everything just kind of pushed back and all that stuff. And then he hit me again in like August, I want to say. August or September and was like, Hey, you know, did you want to do that podcast still? Like we're about to, you know, have some more podcasts on here. And I was like, fuck yeah. And I said, give me like three, four days to come up with like a concept and a name and everything. And so came up with the name, recruited my co-host, you know, I hit Gina, I hit Gabe. And then we did like a photo shoot and I shot everything to him in like three, four days. He was like, oh shit. <laughs> I was like, ready to go. Yeah. He's like, damn, you guys are ready to go. I'm like, yeah, we're fucking ready to go. What's, um, cause you were doing the Rosecrans radio. What is like the, like something that you learned doing? Cause it's kind of a different type of thing. So like, yeah. you know, with any, with anything you get better as time goes, but what's mm-hmm. something you had to kind of like learn from making the switch and doing mad lately? Um, it's uh, streamed on YouTube. or so people commenting yeah. all the time. Like. I mean, yeah, it's just a way different platform. So I approach it differently. Like Rosecrans Radio was just like me interviewing artists or talking, you know, not too deeply. I wasn't really trying to like make people laugh anything too much. Like it was just kind of like a, I wanted to, I had like a more serious tone on there, I guess right. you could say. But then I'm like, okay, we're going to know Jumper. Like they have a certain audience. Of, yeah, you guys are definitely shooting the shit now you know what i'm saying so i'm like we have to turn it up to a certain extent or people are gonna call us boring or whatever Mm -hmm. and the funny thing is that like the way i am on mad lately like that's really the real me that's you yeah you know what i'm saying when i'm out with my homies and stuff like that so i'm like fuck it i'm gonna just put myself on display and like it like ruins my life but it like makes it way better at the same time because i'm a little too honest sometimes (laughs) 